Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about adjusting your fixed bite plate. And this is an example of a fixed bite plate here. You can see there's acrylic right here, right? This one's good because it was made with rests, so you really probably shouldn't need to adjust one. But if you get one that isn't made with rests, then you might have to adjust it. Sometimes they can be bouncy when you push on them. So one of the first things I do, and just keep in mind whenever you deliver a bite plate is when you, if you decide you need to adjust the acrylic, especially if new teeth are coming in, you might wanna use some articulating paper just to check it. And you don't wanna adjust the acrylic in any place where the lower teeth are hitting. So that's really important because that kind of takes away the whole concept of the bite plate. But let's say you had new teeth coming in here or here, then you could always adjust the acrylic here. And it's actually a great idea also with bite plates it is to adjust it right here if you're trying to close a diastema or something like that that's totally fine to get out your acrylic burr and make some adjustment right here just don't adjust it here and just remember whenever you're delivering a bite plate there's going to be an adjustment phase where the patient's not going to have occlusion on the back teeth they're only going to have occlusion right here right so it's going to change how you can eat think about this if you could only chew your food on your front teeth and not your back teeth it totally kind of freaks people out a little bit so you need your patient to be prepared for what life is going to be like with the bite plate when they go home they need to have a lot of soft foods um, jamba juice, mashed potatoes, pasta, things that can basically be gummed like a baby, you know, for six months, I'm sorry, six, months, six to eight weeks at least until you start to get more occlusion on the back teeth. A lot of times parents are going to freak out about that. You know, they need to be ready for this. So I just want you to be mentally prepared for what you need to tell your patient. But again, if you needed to adjust your bite plate, this is my go-to instrument, which is the three-prong plier. I'll usually give it a quick squeeze right here, okay? And then right here, just to seat it a little bit more. And just a tiny little squeeze while it's in does wonders. That's all you need to do. If you squeeze too much, you're gonna break the seal on the bands and it's gonna pop out and you're gonna have to undo it and do it again. But anyways, hopefully that helps you. All right, thanks.